Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Steve, and I'm back with a new video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to convert iWorks files into Microsoft Office compatible files. So stay tuned. So, when I first got my MacBook Pro a couple years ago, uh, one of the things that I didn't consider was how to convert uh, Office files into iWorks files or vice versa. I, I just never considered it. I was just looking forward to moving away from Microsoft products. But last summer, I enrolled back in school. And of course, I needed to be able to submit work in Office format since uh, the format that Apple uses is not a widely accepted uh, norm. And so I kind of wondered what was I going to do there. I mean, looking through text editor, I didn't really see much. But then I discovered these neat little tricks in pages, keynote, and numbers. And the same thing applies for all three. So it's really simple. So let's check it out. All right, so right now I'm using a 21 and a half inch iMac, and I'm going to show you really quick how to make the uh, save documents in Office format. So right here I've got an article that I had to do on a current event summary, and of course I had to submit it in Microsoft Word. Well, as you can see right here, this is Pages. Pages and Word are two different things. So the way you go about saving it as a word document so you go in the upper left hand corner and this is how you save it to a word document alright so you just click file and then you come on down here to where it says export to and you notice that it opens up another menu here on the right hand side and you notice that it opens up this menu here on the right hand side so you see you can export it to a PDF file, a Word document, plain text, EPUB you can revert back to pages 09 or you can do a zip archive so you just want to sim simply select Word and then it brings up this menu here which is exporting your document of course it's showing you the same thing that that menu showed you sort of like a confirmation if you will um, but then you can also look at advanced uh, options down here so in Word we're saving it as a Word document but you can save it as a uh, docx file or a regular doc file so you've got a choice there and right now it's set for docx uh, so you just hit next and it's going to bring up where do you want this, this file to be saved so say for instance we want it saved here on a desktop which is what I have selected here then you just hit export alright so here's our pages file and if we want to look at the doc file so if you see right here and now it says current event summary document and if you look at the file extension it's DOCX so docx file so now for me I was able to submit that document on my school's blackboard software program and it's able to be read and converted really simple in easy format to use and this is something that's built into pages numbers and keynote it's awesome alright so now we're gonna do the same thing for a keynote so keynote as you know is Apple's uh, PowerPoint equivalent alright so here we've got the this is an ethics presentation that I had to do uh, as you can see here there are the slides so if we want to convert this into PowerPoint again we're gonna do the same thing but you're just gonna hit file once again come down to export to you're gonna select PowerPoint it's gonna bring you this menu of course with your expanded uh, options here you can require a password to open it you can convert it to any one of these types of formats but we're gonna leave it as a PowerPoint we're gonna hit next alright and so now it brings us up this menu and as you can see the extension up top it has PowerPoint so if we go ahead and we hit export alright so we saw the graphics and that it was creating a PowerPoint slide and sure enough at the bottom here is our uh, keynote slide presentation and right above it there's our PowerPoint so if we open it it's not gonna look any different um, unless you open it up on a Microsoft computer um, some of the fonts aren't supported so they'll default it to um, a regularly accepted font so that's not a big deal and the same thing applies for pages um, but everything else all of your your layout and everything will still look the same 
lastly we have a number spreadsheet that we could convert to Excel all right so say for instance if we had some information in here and we want to send it to someone who uses a Microsoft uh, computer uh, once again we do the same thing we just hit file export to and of course you see Excel here we're gonna hit Excel and see this one gives you a few different choices here you have a choice to include a summary worksheet and require a password to open plus you get some advanced options and that those advanced options are just your format if you want to save it to the current format of Excel or if you want to revert it back to an older format you can do that um, you can also revert it back to numbers 09 format so we're gonna just leave it as the current form for Excel hit next alright and then it brings it up as you where you want to export it to and we would just export it to our desktop now it's creating an Excel file here and this one's taking okay it took a little bit longer but it did it. As you can see if you look at the top this is our number spreadsheet and then if you look closely here at the bottom you can see the extension XLSX which is the Excel spreadsheet extension. Alright guys so there you have it the way to convert all three of Apple's iWorks uh, software into their Microsoft equivalent. So if you guys like this video hit that like button please do subscribe and make sure to share it with others and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.